son, are you mad at me for not having the bed made by now? Son. Son. Sugar pop. Honey lick. Corn puff. Lollipop. Sweetheart. Now later. Honey chew. Milk dud. Are you mad at me? Are you just mad at me? Has it come to this? You mad at me for not making the bed earlier? So you could lay in a made bed instead of on a blanket on the floor? It has come to this? I apologize. I apologize, sir. How can I make this up to you? With snacks? Treats? You want some wet food? You want some hash? Roast beef hash? And some turkey? And some bacon and some chicken and some chicken wings and some pizza ooh just like your daddy <laughs> just like your daddy pizza did the trick didn't it that's what I thought <laughs> butterfly man drinking his vegetable juice yeah i wish we could record with these filters for longer than just a few seconds at a time and i also wish we didn't have the moments of delay after the few those few recordable seconds are over for it to load but i guess it's just as well because I would use this filter for all of eternity. When I make my yamit juice, I always find a long sweet potato that can fit to the feeder of the juicer because I don't know if you've ever tried to cut a sweet potato the long way in half but it's very firm and you'll mess around and chop your finger off and I don't want you to mess around and chop your finger off making some juice that I taught you how to make that'll fit right in there I recently got these, uh, this cutting board set, and I'm sure they wanted to charge me for each one of them individually, because the price was only on the outside of one. I'm using this now, actually. It's the vegetable one. It has four. There's one for, it says beef, poultry, seafood, and vegetables. And they're color coordinated. And I have the other three right here. The beef, seafood, and poultry. They're fairly flimsy though. So I just got them because they were very affordable. Wooden cutting board. And I use this on top of them. So I just wipe, I put the cutting boards in the dishwasher, not the wooden one, the 
plasticals in the dishwasher because I don't think they're going to last long. But they were real cheap. They were really cheap. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to be proud of me. You're going to be proud of me. I am in and of this struggle and dealing with it though. See this? Oh, kiwis came in this. The fruit usually comes like the smaller fruits, the vegetables and berries. These are the kiwis. I'm going to throw this away. That's why you'll be proud of me. Lies I just told. I just thought of some more shit. I got these sacks to be resourceful with my produce. And these are Earthwise bags, reusable, perfect for fruits and vegetables. So it says. And they come three in a pack. I've taken one of these out because I wanted to see what it looks like. It's reusable. I bet it's not reusable if you let something go bad and get smushed in that bad boy, but yeah. Reusable. So I'm going to use this for my apples, and that's after I wash it. This I decided to keep because I'm going to put my limes in here. And then I should put my avocados in the other one. I have another one. That's, I know they'll fit because the, the steroid ass kiwis that were in there were three times as big as this. Do you remember those? Big, heavy ass. Brilliant. Y'all, I'm so brilliant. Limes. So, wasn't able to keep my word. And throw this away. And probably now won't throw the others away because I'll find some other stuff that will pose them perfectly. Look at that. And then there's air holes in here. Yes. Put my grapefruit in here. Nice. And I think I'm going to put my tomatoes in another one, but I'm going to line it with this plastic. A couple of pears. Poplano pepper. I actually like those a lot. garbage disposals can now take chicken bones. I don't test it with chicken bones, but I do ch test it with um, with carrot stems. But yeah, I was just pushing everything down with this, and that's what happened. Yeah. and put this just in a couple of these bottles I thought I had some more sweet potatoes but I don't so this is gonna be it I'm going to put them in the freezer with no lid on because glass does some interesting stuff uh, when it comes to extreme temperatures and being sealed and I don't need no explosive mess in my freezer. This way when I take them out of the freezer, if they're frozen, I can just sit them on the counter and let them thaw for about an hour and then put the lids on, shake them up. They'll have a nice icy. Mm. <laughs> but what you don't wanna do is spill it in the freezer. Fuck. Okay, I gotta go, I need them, I gotta mess to clean up.